Yeah, we got Air Max. Okay. Air Max 90 Premium for 140 in a size 7. Now, I took this, I picked these up because the colorway kind of stood out to me a little bit. This black with the red laces and then you got the yellow Nike switch. I think that was pretty dope, bro. I never really seen these before. If you guys know about them, let me know. 140. 140 with the 20 and the 10 if you have the app. Nike. They indeed have some John Elliott's in the tan colorway. 175, one of my favorite colorways out of the three. The black one is cool too, but that one I think I like a little bit more. Nike Air. Nike Air Max Vapor Wing. 90 bucks. These are pretty different. Gives me like a Vapor X vibe. Let me know if you guys are feeling this. This colorway is pretty fire though. Yeah, it's like a Kyrie. It's like a Vapor X vibe. Like a tennis shoe. Like a really, like for playing tennis, bro. Normally, 90, they have them for 90, so it's retail with 20% off with the extra 10. Then you got some Dornbeckers here, the Dornbecker Tailwinds, 96. These are 130 bucks. 130 with the 20 and the 10. Let me know if you got a feeling these, bro. This is cool, got the little Snoopy. Like I said, Dornbecker collections are always pretty fire. I love the calls of Dornbecker. Not too mad though. I wouldn't pick these up for myself even if I could, but maybe you might like them. Let me know your thoughts down below. What are these here? Some cleats. Arizona Victor Tour. Never really seen these. I mean, we don't talk about cleats too much here, but I feel like these might have a pretty good resale on them. If you guys have seen these before, let me know. I've got a gold box. Once again, we got the Jordan 10 wings. Cop pass, fire, or trash on these. We're seeing these a lot more at the outlets, bruh. You would think there would be like a little reset on them, but people are probably not rocking with tans like that. Very interesting shoe, kind of like a football. We've seen these in plenty of colorways. This one's not too bad, bro. What do you guys think about these in the comment section below? Going for that retail with the 20% off because it's on the back wall. I see these trail running again. The Zoom Wild Horse 5 for 49 bucks. Size 11. Colorway definitely caught my eye. These shoes feel like they, uh, these are not as comfortable as the ones we saw before. Once again, we see the uh, PG4 in the bread colorway. Never really tried these on before, size 13. Maybe we can kind of change that up real quick. What do you guys think about these in the comment section below? <clears throat> I tried a left shoe on since we've seen it plenty of times. PG4 is a pretty dope, never tried them on, so let's go ahead and give it a go. This is size 13. Oh my god. Why is it 13? It's size 13. Why is Fosco trying to make size 13 over there? You know that mother's going to be tight. Shoes were tight. It was like a, it was like a workout trying to get Those into the shoes. Tight, <laughs> I cannot go to the size on these, 13. bro. He needs to go to size 14. 14 the easily, bro. These things are snug as shit. Yeah, they do feel good on feet. More than the Kyrie's. Way more. More than the Kyrie's. That's Big crazy. Yeah. They think they look cool. They feel cool, but they're super snug. Like cushioning, I feel like the cushioning is super comfy on mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it looks better with them zipped up. I feel like I like the zip up look better. Me personally. And I will put red laces with them for the lace swap, but overall not bad. This would go up a half a full size to a 14. Sheesh. You could do white laces on this too. Mm-hmm. So 49 with 20 and then 10 also still the same 30. Air spans, bro. We talked about these before. This colorway is different. This is like a shoe you get, in my opinion, this is a shoe you get when you're splurging. Like when you got a little extra money, this is what you go ahead and cop. This is a fire shoe, dope summertime colorway. Let me know if you guys agree. This Air Span 2 is definitely a dope colorway. This is something that I would pick up for Splurge. It's only 49 bucks with an extra 20 and an extra 10. It's calling my name a little bit, bro. What do you guys think about these and what do you rate them from a 1 to 10 score? I think they're a solid 8.5, maybe even a 9. Let me know what you guys think down below, though. Check out these Air Spans and see what they're talking about on foot. Nice 
Yeah, zero nine zero. 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 Yeah, but this colorway is pretty fire though. What do you guys think about that? These are definitely a slept on shoe, bro. It's the Airspan 2. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. <laughs> Not right now. Some more John Elliott's in the tan colorway. Size 9. 175. Look at these. Air Max 720 for 79 bucks. Kinda got this gray colorway. Let me know what you guys think about these. So you got 79 with an extra 20 and an extra 10. 270s are not bad, bro. 720s are not bad. The colorways are pretty dope on those. They also got these here. Size 13 for 139. Are you guys a fan of these or not? 14s are not bad depending on the colorway. I feel like the reset on these might be going up, you know, eventually, if not now, because of the last dance. Let me know what you guys think about these from a 1 to 10 scale. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, too much space in here. Definitely could go down a half a size, bro. These are too big. And these are 13. Yeah, these are too big, bro. I have to go down a size on shit. That's crazy. So what, a 12 and a half or a 12? Let me know what you guys think about these. It's a deal breaker for some people, the medial side. Let me know if you guys are one of those people who like this shoe or don't. Now we're checking out the women's side. This is something that kind of caught my eye. We have seen this at the stores for sure. They have them here for 125 as opposed to the 180 price point. Black and red colorway of the Air Max 97 for the women. Like I said, this colorway is kind of different, man. It's black and red, which is the same. I just think the little details they added to it is pretty cool. Copper pass for you, though. I don't know if that's a deal breaker or not. 20 plus 30 or 20 plus 10 with the extra keychain. You got the little lock on there, too. Can't go wrong with that. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. And, and just different colorways. The Air Max 2 Lite. I know I keep talking about them. Now we have some for the ladies. Let me know, ladies and gentlemen watching, are you guys feeling the Air Max 2 Lite? If you have a colorway you like more than the other, please comment that down below. These are pretty dope, though, man. For the ladies, white upper, the light blue, and it's kind of like tan, and you have a black midsole. I think that's a pretty dope touch to the shoe. Let me know what you guys think down below. This running shoe kind of stood out to me a little bit. If I can react. It's more so the colorway than the actual shoe. What do you guys think about these? I hate when they have them. It's the Odyssey React 2 shelled NYB. I have yet to see tail wins in this colorway. This is for the ladies only 109 with the 20% off plus the 10 if you're a Nike member, Nike Plus member. Cop pass fire or trash on these tail wins, bro. This colorway is not too bad. I love that uh, color combination. Reminds me of some Air Max Pluses, if you know what I'm talking about. Pretty fire, though. Yep, we have another colorway for the ladies in size 8. Only going for 99 bucks, as opposed to the 180 retail. Pretty dope colorway of the Air Max 98s. Been seeing a lot of other colorways of these that are pretty dope. Let me know if you guys are feeling them or not, bro. So as you guys can see, they got a pretty good size run of the LeBron 16s for the grade school sizes. This colorway is not too bad. Let me know what you guys think about these overall. Not too bad for LeBron 16 and for the kids, the grade school size. I'm not mad at this colorway. Let me know if you guys are feeling these. Like I said, they had a pretty good size run of them, bro.
It's a classic shoe. I love the Shock BDs from what they are, the Vince Carter's fire, but they have some weight to them. Just like I remember, and it's not super. They look dope though. Let me know what you guys think about these. If this is a keeper or not, only 89 bucks as opposed to the 160 price point, so you definitely can't go wrong with that. Maybe get an extra 10% or 20% off. These are clean, bruh. Let me know what you guys rate these from a 1 to 10 score in the comment section, of course. Very, very classic shoe, but it's not worth it for me. Let me know what you guys think about these overall in the comment section below from a 1 to 10. The nostalgia still gives it a 10. The fit was pretty dope, probably like an 8 on the fit, real snug, but uh, I'm just not going to pull the trigger. Maybe if they go a little bit cheaper, I might. But let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below about these Vince Carter, dig? Every now and then, it seems like I'm always going to find these Jordan 7s right here. The reflective ones, 225 still retail with 20% off because it's the back wall, plus an extra 10%, so 30% total. Let me know what you guys think about these, bro. Are you guys feeling these or not? I think a lot of people are not really feeling them that much. That's why they still are always here at the outlets. But that shoe, and then I started to see this one a little bit more also. So what's the deal, man? Are people not feeling the Jordan 10 wings or these Jordan 7s? I'm not sure the name of them. If you know the name of them, comment down below. But out of the two shoes, which one do you guys like the most? Both of them are pretty dope in their own right. If I had to pick, I might, I might go with the wings just because of the outsole, bro. But the upper's not really, I'm not really a fan of it. <sighs> decisions, decisions. What would you guys pick? Let me know. Got some more of the Wind Horse 5s for 47, 49 bucks. That colorway is just real popping and vibrant. Then we have some Air Max or Nike Air Vapor Max 360s on sale, 225. So retail with 30% off. If you are a Nike Plus member, let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. We've definitely seen these plenty of times before at the regular store, regular price. Now we see them here at the outlets. Is this a go? Let me know. They have some PG fours here, 89 bucks with the 20% off. This is the uh, picnic table or you know, picnic basket, whatever you guys want to call these. They have so many different nicknames for these. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway. Not too bad on it. Uh, like I said, 89 bucks with the 30% off. You can't go wrong with that. Medium size, probably the best part of this shoe. Let me go ahead and open it up though real quick. Yeah, man, opening this shoe up, you know, it gives it a little bit more character and style. I'm telling you, if you add like that crimson orange with the laces right there, or maybe even that blue, it'll set this shoe off a whole another level. Let me know if you guys agree with that. Which lace, which you know, which lace option would you go with, the uh, crimson orange or some blue? Let me know in the comment section below. That's pretty far. I think this shirt is pretty dope. I think that shit is really dope. So overall, what would you guys rate this visit? What's your favorite shoe you've seen here? We tried on a few shoes too, not disappointed in them at all. Wish the PGs was a little bit bigger. I might've pulled the trigger on that. But give me your thoughts and opinions, man. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you're not subscribed, don't be a lame and join the Mitchell gang. I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.